Well, hello again. Happy Tuesday. We got a bit warmer today than where we were yesterday in the Concha Valley, mid to upper 50s. Down in the I-10 corridor, we did see a few places hit the lower 60s. 62 was the high in Junction today. 60 on the dot in El Dorado. Ozona got up to 63 degrees. Here in San Angelo, our high was 55. Abilene got up to 54. Some of the cooler spots in the big country, they only got to the lower to mid 50s. Some of the cooler spots, Albany, 50 degrees on the dot. Anson, 50 51 degrees current temperatures right now we haven't lost that much heat yet in fact some sun is still up right now now that we're getting those later sunsets it's still 55 in san angelo down to 51 up in abilene and down to 59 in junction now tonight we're going to have mostly clear skies but we're going to get well under freezing most of us all getting into the 20s tonight mid to upper 20s 26 in menard one of the cooler spots brownwood getting down to 25 here in san angelo we'll get to 28 Eight degrees up in Abilene 27 is going to be that low and then we'll bounce back up tomorrow to the mid to upper 60s across West Texas we're looking at a high of 66 here in San Angelo and then on Thursday could be even warmer now the, the highs for the Concha Valley really depends on how fast that front cold front progresses forgive me I can't get my words out but we do have that cold front that'll move throughout the day on Thursday so highs in the big country won't quite make it to the 70s but we'll have a brief moment of warming up before that front does come and then by Friday we'll have a hard time making it out of the 40s before we start to rebound by weekend to those lower to mid 60s and then lower 70s on Sunday so here's a look at what's going on with the atmosphere because we keep having this up and down up and down but right now we have this surface level high that's sitting north of us that's helping bring those cold northerly winds into west texas that's why it's been so cold today but throughout the night tonight we're going to see that uh high pressure make its way farther into the state of texas helping turn those winds from a northerly flow to a southerly flow and that helps us warm up tomorrow with that warmer air coming from the south but unfortunately that won't be lasting very long because that high pressure is going to dissipate and we have low pressure starting to move in with that cold front we've been talking about by tomorrow evening making impact with the texas oklahoma border it'll start to make its way southward by thursday morning we could see western portions of the big country probably probably feeling some of the impacts of that front and then by 6 p.m thursday that could be making its way into the concho valley by the end of the night that front would have completely cleared our view and area we could possibly see some rain or even a light wintry mix on friday morning but it'll quickly die out by the end of the day on friday and then on saturday Saturday, we have high pressure return yet again to Texas, helping us warm up and rebound for the weekend. So we're going to have that brief period of cold weather, but it won't be lasting very long. And as we get closer and closer to the first official day of spring, hopefully these cold snaps will be become lesser and lesser and become a thing of the past. But here's your wrap up with the seven day. Our only cloudy day is going to be on Friday after that front passes. So six out of seven days of sunshine, I'm here for it. By this time next week, we'll be back to the upper 70s with sunny skies. The same story for Abilene. They have the higher chance of wintry mix behind that front on Friday but as we get closer to that time frame we'll have more details on who is expected to get what type of precipitation as well as any totals so for now let's enjoy the next couple days we'll have some warmer temperatures before that front comes through back to you Tim